Hi guys, it's me again, back with another unboxing. Okay, hopefully this angle is okay. I keep looking at the wrong side of the camera. Um, anyway, I hope this angle's okay. Um, I'm having to use my phone today because my everything is dead and it's charging and the charger doesn't reach. I have another geek gear. Um, I got this yesterday. Oh, I should really learn to do this before I start the video. Every time. Okay. Woo! Right. We have the box. It's brown like last time, but it's got this really cute how how ugh, I can't even talk. Homemade with love in the corner. So this is this this um by the way, if you remember from my last video, is the new and improved geek gear. This is apparently the start of something new um the start of the new and improved geek gear so i'm quite excited to see what they've done with it so this is the february one my birthday month so this is like my birthday present from geek gear even that paper um okay so okay so they've got rid of the tissue paper we just have right out there kind of what you get so I'm just gonna pick out the first thing. I'm just, I don't want to look. Lola, I'm just playing with a bloody bag. Okay, so firstly we have the t-shirt, which is this, oh bloody hell, this design. I quite like that actually. So we've got a geometric, is that the word? Geometric style of each of the house's animals. So we have um, eagle and, oh, forgot the name, lion and, the um, snake and badger, wait, wait, what? Wait, what, is that gonna be a badger? I'm really confused now. Lion and eagle, snake, right, can anyone else see an owl there, not a badger? Because that does not look like a badger. Is that supposed to be Hufflepuff? I don't I don't see it. Does anyone else see it? Or am I just being really crazy? That looks like an owl to me. That looks like an owl to me. So I'm really confused. I think that's supposed to be the houses. But yeah, tell me what you think that is down in the comments. Because that's baffled me. Oh, we have a lot of this. Yep, I just got that all over my floor and there goes Lola no Lola don't go after me no right okay Ooh, oh we have a wand I wasn't expecting a wand so we have a noble wand wand it is the Noctua wand length 13 and a half inches core is a snowy owl feather and wood type is black walnut okay I'm glad we're still getting wands, even though they've got the new subscription wand box. Now, by the picture that you get, you get a little picture of it. It looks like there is an owl. I can't get it out. I think it's stuck on the other end. Okay, I had to rip the bubble, but there we go. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so we have this cute little owl on the top, if you can see that. And then down the wand, we have um, little envelopes, little letters, all down the wand tip. So there we go. Cute little, it's really well detailed, little owl. And some letters, and there is our wand. It's quite nice. I like that, that is freaking snazzy. Where's the one? Okay, so we have a wand. I love that. It's so pretty. Another one to my uh, spontaneous wand collection that I seem to be forming. Right, what we got here? What's this? Oh, okay, we've got a butterscotch bath bomb. Now, I think I've said in previous videos, I'm not really a bath bomb person. Lola, could you stop playing with that bag? Oh my god. Okay, it is powdery. Um, I wanted to show you what the bomb looked like. Okay. 
Oh, it smells nice though. So we have this um, kind of cream coloured. It looks like it's kind of got speckles in it. it. Smells like butterscotch. It is nice. I mean, I've said in previous videos, I'm not really the bath type. I did get some for Christmas. Um, I used one the other day, but I'm just, I'm just not a bath person. You just kind of sit there like, what? Lola! My God, give that here. Give it. Jesus. Right. I'm not really a bath person because you just kind of sit there and I know people are like, oh, you can read a book and I just, I just don't get it. But, you know, for people who love bath bombs, it's a nice product and it does smell really nice. So there's that. Ooh, next up. Uh, I think this was one of the hints. There was a picture they put a hint on Instagram of mer people. So here we have a magical golden egg. Does that mean I'm a try with a champion? <laughs> Come seek us where our voices sound. We cannot get the song. I'm not going to sing it for you guys. Sorry. <gasps> Ooh. You know, I was suddenly thinking the other day it would be cool if they had one of these that opened. So here we go. We have the uh, magical golden egg. I'm not really sure what the design on the outside is. Um, I don't think. Is that on the actual egg on the film? I don't think it is. And it's got this. Um, owl at the top i don't know if this is supposed to be exactly like the egg in the film because i don't think it looks like that at least i mean i'd have to look at a picture but i'm pretty sure this is a different kind of egg but i'm not sure i'm gonna have to watch the film again what a shame um but yeah we have this little kind of reminds me of the oh, um oklamini egg oklamini oklamini is that how you say it that egg is very similar egg kind of thing to the one we've had previously but oh maybe i could start an egg collection now as well as a wand collection but i like that that's a very nice and very nice item uh and uh underneath all of this <laughs> lovely cardboard um do you think they're going eco-friendly oh 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 we have the tea uh, like in the box last month, in January's box, they had their first tea, um, which was a love potion tea. So this time, February, very fitting, is a chocolate frog tea. Just in time for Valentine's Day. You know, it's already passed. But yeah. Uh, so yes, a chocolate infusion. Interesting. It's got black tea, cocoa husk, cocoa shell, flavourings and sunflower petals. So I'm going to smell it like I did last time. Let you guys know what it smells like. The other one was amazing. It smelled like fruit winders. Oh, just as you expect it to smell. Like chocolate, but like um, like a really rich chocolate with like a tang of tea, obviously, because it's tea. I did try the other one, the fruit wine one. It was actually really nice, so I'm excited to try this one. I will try it and let you know what it's like. But we have chocolate frog tea. And then um, I think there's just two things left. We have the new, I've got bath bomb crap everywhere. This must be the new pamphlet, quite excited. And then, all right, final item, yeah, is, oh, it's cute. I don't know if I'd have that up anywhere though, but we have this always kind of, I suppose, Valentine's themed um, deer with a heart and um, lots of pinks um, and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nice. I don't know. I mean, I say I don't know if I'll have it up. All of the prints I get are in a nice pile over here because I just don't know what to do with them. But I'm not sure about this one. It's cute, but I don't know if I'd have it up on the wall so yeah it's nice though very fitting for the february one so let's open see what they've done to the pamphlet Ooh, oh i like this oh this is so much better than what their little pamphlets used to look like so we have this little stamp and it opens out like this it's so cute okay so you have obviously the logo up here and then it says a massive thank you from all of us at geek gear for subscribing to geek gear wizardry box we hope that you enjoy every single item that ha we have carefully picked into this month into your box this month 
and that you continue your subscription and remain to be a valued member of the ever-growing Geek Gear community. Ooh, yes, I will subscribe forever. And it's quite thick. I like this. So then, obviously, it has the month it is, all the stuff you get, um, YouTube spotlight still there, and next month's hint. So we've got the Animals T-shirt, Wizardry Animals T-shirt. So does that just mean wizardry so is that maybe an owl right so all the other houses get an owl get a, a get a thing and then we have an owl like is that an owl i'm sure it's an owl i'm not impressed where's my badger but anyway and then we've got your wand the frog tea bath bomb ornament and the always print and next month's clue is a mandrake if you are wondering about next month's clues, um, they have more on their Instagram. They put about three, I think, each month to give you a hint of what's coming in the next box, which is, I think, is quite nice. I love this. I love that this is like a little parchment letter rather than just... Because uh, before, it was, if you remember, it was just it just opened like that. It wasn't as snazzy. I love this because it actually looks like parchment. It's like getting a little letter every month. Right, so... That is the box. I have bath bomb dust all over me. I liked that box. I like that we get the tea and the wand and everything. I don't like the t-shirt, mainly because it looks like it's the houses, but then they've just thrown an owl in. I'm not I'm not too sure what they were going for there. Because there's a lion, a bird, which is obviously Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and then I just don't think that's a badger. Like, I just, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I'm trying to find a badger somewhere that I have. I have no. But anyway, it's. I like the design. The design is cute. The geometric pattern. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what my favourite thing was though. I might have to go with either the T or the wand. I think the wand was really nice this time with the owl on it. There's a lot of detail, and I like these little little cards that you get with the noble wands to give you a bit more detail on the wand, because before, it didn't really say anything, it was just a wand, and you were like, oh, okay. Whereas this is more in-depth, it gives you the length and the core and the wood and, you know, all that Harry Potter jargon. So, yeah, I really like that box. Um, I think I like it better than what before, because they've got the tea now, and I love trying new things. It's nice to have something that you can try or eat <laughs> i like eating things um i think the least favorite's the bath bomb only because i don't really have baths i'm a shower person so i might just drop this in the water to watch it fizz up but um yeah i mean it's great i know a lot of people do like baths so i suppose it's good for everyone except me but it's a nice item and for their first official box that's different and is new i'd say it's really good and i'm really impressed with what they've done and i yes i will continue subscribing because i love it but um yeah so that is the february box and um, leave in the comments what you thought of the box do you think it's better than what it was before and also what was your favorite item and also, please tell me what you think this is. I know I said earlier, but please, anyone, does this look like a badger or is that an owl? Like, what's the, what, what's the theme they're going for here? Please tell me. Because in the pamphlet, it just says animals, wizardry animals. And I'm like, well. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.